Hi, I'm Maria, and this is how I made the best practice planner ever. I'm a classical pianist, student, teacher, and content creator. So when I'm at the piano practicing, I wanna make sure I'm making the most of my time. And sometimes with so many things going on, that can be hard, really hard. I tried everything from writing in a notebook to bullet journaling, to post-it notes, to buying lots and lots of planners, and even buying lots of music practice planners and none of it worked. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. At first, I started sketching drafts of my perfect planner, printing them out and putting them into practice, and it was actually a lot harder than I thought. I started to realize just how much time and effort it takes to design a planner. Once I had the first draft ready, I went on Fiverr and hired a graphic designer to help me make it pretty, because as musically inclined as I may be, I can barely draw a stick man. But I knew what the layout needed to look like. And so prototype number one was created. You might be thinking that looks nothing like the final product. And yeah, it took over a year to come to the perfect design. Then came the process of refining the design. I was in an endless cycle of printing, using, correcting, and starting it all over again. Before long, I was ready to show the planner to the world. Well, not quite. A few months later, with my self-refined copy in hand, or I guess in USB, I went to Staples and printed off 10 copies of the planner to give to my students and colleagues. And this shouldn't have been a surprise to me, but I got a lot of feedback. Some of it was positive, but some of it wasn't. And some parts of the planner really resonated with people while others confused them. So coming out of that whole process, I had a huge new list of corrections to make to the planner, along with a very thick skin that I needed to get through it. But I'm so grateful for the criticism because it added so many awesome features to the planner, like the weekly calendar and the mood tracker. Essentially, the planner boiled down to this. Two repertoire lists, a must list and a wish list for those of us who need to separate our professional development from playing for fun, which is basically everyone. One goal page with a bird's eye view of your five top goals for the year, along with five pages to really break down those goals into actionable steps. 12 months of weekly planners starting from the first month of the school year, September 2022 to August 2023, and 12 pages each of staff paper and normal line paper, one per month to take notes during your lesson or during the week. And that's pretty much it. With the help of my students and colleagues, I've created a planner with the perfect balance of structure and freedom, motivation and discipline, and I can't wait to share it with you. So what are you waiting for? Take back control of your practice and your motivation and grab your copy of the Efficient Musician Practice Planner at theefficientmusician.com. Pre-launch sale ends June 1st. Let's level up our practice together.